24 teams started the tournament, and as we speak, about two teams have actually taken their lead away from the tournament. And we'll be talking about what will be going down as, as far the games we'll be seeing today in the African Cup of Nations. Well, we'll be talking about the games we saw yesterday, the Nigerian national team, the Super Eagles, were defeated by the debutants, talking about Madagascar, uh, in the tournament yesterday by two goals to zero against all odds. And many amongst of loving persons out there are saying, Super Eagles are in this particular tournament to only actually show they are part of African continent. Uh, we'll be talking about what went down between, between the old nation, Egyptian national team, and the Ugandan national team. It ended in favor of the old nation. Two goals to zero was the scoreline. And among the games we saw yesterday, uh, we saw a fantastic outing between Guinea and uh, Bob Burundi, and which actually gave the, uh, the Guinean the opportunity to have a place in the round of 16. All of these are, more, are many more to come your way on today's edition of your favorite uh, sports show that happens to be a window to what is going on out there in Egypt. Egypt is a nation where all African nations are focusing on as we speak. We'll be talking about extensively the games, reactions of players, reactions of ex-internationals, and reactions of my colleagues in the studio to what happened to the Nigerian national team. Ade Dotu Agumbiade is the name, and it is your one-stop show that happens to be a window, like I said the other time, to what is going on over there in Egypt. It is AFCON 2019 football show. And with me in the studio, I have to my far left, I have Femi Michael. Femi, good afternoon, and how are you doing? Good afternoon. It's nice being here again. I'm fine, and um, just a little bit disappointed by the Nigerian team, but still, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, Tayo Alonshala, how are you doing? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Well, actually, let's let's talk about what we saw yesterday briefly before we actually delve into the show proper. Let's look at what happened between the Nigerian national team and the Madagascar national team. Against all expectation, it went in favor of Ma of Ma Madagascar. Well, for me, it's, it was a disappointing match because um, looking at the rating of Madagascar in African football and um, Nigeria being the giant of Africa. Uh, it's it's quite uh, disappointing. Although I didn't see the match, but why, by the time I checked the live score, I I thought I was dream when I saw 2-0. I thought it was a dream that they they actually made mistake until in the night when I was watching the highlights. It's, it was quite disappointing, but the good one is we've qualified, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel the boys should be able to learn from their mistakes because to me. Whether we qualified or not, I didn't see any reason why we cannot pick all the nine points. Mm. So it, it was not an excuse that we have already qualified, but it's a good one that we have qualified at the end of the day. It is, it is a good one that the Nigerian Super Eagles have qualified for the next round before losing their last game against the Madagascar national team. How about to you, Femi? Let's talk about this. Uh, how did you feel about the game, your reaction at large? Um, for me, uh, when I saw the first goal, I was like, it's too, it's too, it's an easy goal. Moreover, Leon Balogun for me, he, he, he acted like a rookie in the heart of, in the heart of defending. And um, for me, the Ni Nigerian national team, we are talking about the giants of Africa. We are talking about a football-loving nation. Mad Mad Madagascar are just debuting in um, Afghan Kong. They shouldn't for no reason uh, beat Nigeria. And I'm surprised by the comments of the coach. At all. But for me, I just feel um, Nigeria should always do better. Be it or uh, they are playing Madagascar, be it playing Burundi, be it playing Argentina or anything, they should always play better. Um, for me, uh, the team, they need to gel, they, need, they, can, they can do way better because they are going to the knockout phase and uh, I expect them to do better. My money, though, isn't on Nigeria, but still, I'm happy because as a footballing nation, we are through to the, to the knockout stages and that's, uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Of course, Nigerian national team qualifying for the group stage or uh, qualifying out of the group stage stage of the ongoing African Cup of Nations uh, 2019 edition that happens to be the 32nd edition and for Nigeria if they take this particular one it will be the first time they've actually laid their, their hands on the uh, golden diadem of African football and let's they actually talk about the tornado of France uh, the ongoing African Cup of Nations we've not seen massive fans actually thrown up for games except for the host nation games and the North African nations 
that actually have enjoyed massive, massive uh, fun at by the fans. Let's talk about these guys before we actually move on. Uh, the, the fans are really not coming to the stadium. What do you think is, is the cause of this time? Well, for me, um, well, a lot of reason could have uh, actually contributed to it. But if you look at the Egyptian matches, like the one of yesterday, the it was full to capacity. It was full to capacity. So I feel the, the fans, they are giving more support to the whole fans to, and, uh, the, to, the and to the North African uh, nation. Of course. And this might turn out to haunt the West African Italian <laughs> because, uh, like uh, Femi said, we are now in the round of 16. We might just be very lucky getting into the semi final. By the time we are getting close to the final, <laughs> You know the, uh, the African nation, uh, the North African team. Yeah, the, the, the antics and everything they normally play. But it's a good one so far, and I'm hoping the the cup will be coming to West Africa at the end of the day. Okay, like I said it, hoping that the cup will be coming to West African nation uh, in, uh, at the end of the tournament. But I want to come to you, Femi. If you take a vivid look at it, uh, what we've seen so far, the North African nations are giving you two questions. Are uh, in one, the North African nations against the West African nations. They've been the one taking the shine so far in the tournament. Like against Algeria, uh, Senegalese, they were defeated by North African counterparts. And against all expectation, the favorites to win the tournament eventually lost. And let's take a look at it. In the history of the African Cup of Nations, Egypt has actually won the African Cup of Nations three times, being the host nation. Um, yes, one. But the question is, will they repeat the same height? Uh, history is uh, made history. Uh, records are made to be broken uh, in four different uh, four, for four different times whereas Egypt has hosted the uh, nation's cup they've won it thrice like you pointed out and for me this this is uh, this year also they, they are also liable to win it because one Egypt is a footballing nation of course they are blessed with fantastic footballers and uh, the North Africans if you look at it Everything from North Africa, they are strong, they are fast, they, are, uh, they have tenacity, they are playing as a team. They are, uh, technically, they are up there. So uh, for me, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not surprised by their style of play. I'm not surprised by how well they are doing. It was for me, they've been doing so fine. It's not, it's not a sudden trend. For over 16 years now, the North Americans, they've been building a system. They've been North building Africans. A, North Africans. Yeah, they've been building, building a style of play. They've been building, building a pattern of play. They've been, uh, they've been investing their footballing uh, background. So for me, uh, I would, he gave the African the Africans. to the West Africans. But for me, uh, though I'm a Nigerian, well, uh, you're giving it to the North Africans. Yes, I am. One, Egypt, uh, being the host nation, they have that hedge over every other thing. And, uh, the home support. Okay, right. okay, this is a fantastic discussion in the studio going on and coming from the two analysts I have with me. After the Femi went for the North Africans to lay their hands on, on the Golden Garden, uh, talking about the African Cup of Nations trophy. And uh, Tayo Olorun Shola said that his art is going uh, for the West African uh, countries. And to you out there, we want to actually take your reaction concerning the game we saw yesterday between the Nigerian national team and the Madagascar national Team. It ended in favor of Madagascar. Two goes to zero. And some will say that it was not a lot, it was a total victory for the Madagascar. Let's take a look at what happened between the Cameroonian national team and the Ghanaian national team in their game, which actually ended in a stalemate. Then after that, we come back to do justice to all of the games we saw yesterday.